I'll try and check out some of the things he always carries around with him. Hey, <laughs> invasive. Might be able to take a look through some of his memories. Yeah. <laughs> I met him. Ah, oh, right here. Hey, don't worry about coming any further. Um, ah, uh, yeah. You take it easy, okay? There are other variants your age in the city, right, champ? Have you met them already? If you get in trouble, don't suffer in silence, okay? Thank you. If you hadn't found me, I'd have been stuck in that house all alone. Okay, makes sense. I'd probably still be waiting for my mom to come back. It was Albert who asked me to look for you, you know? Find out if Hal Sion is alive. If you were alive, he told me to bring you straight to him. I guess him trying to protect you here is some kind of personal atonement or something. Oh. But if it's too tough being in the city your mom died in, then you can tag along with me, champ. to stay here but when I grow up I'm definitely gonna be a traveler just like you that was me as a kid so this guy knows me from back when I was a kid why didn't he say anything <laughs> it's getting interesting Yeah, by the way, what's this cube? Albert, it's Keith Tazaki. Albert? <laughs> you! You liar! Well, that was a pretty big chunk of important stuff. This is... he's lying. But why would he make something up like that? And who was that person in the lab? There wasn't an entry for them in the access panel registry. The door to the lab should have been closed until 8 when they came in. How did they make it inside? <laughs> She's still not back. What does all this mean? I'm struggling to process everything. I guess there's nothing for it. I've just got to ask him. Listen, I'm a level four variant. I used my ability to read yours. Keep it cool. I need to focus on the case for starters. Does it matter? Maybe something softer? You visited the city before, didn't you? I have a feeling this isn't the first time we've met. Mm, beats me. I mean, we probably crossed paths at one point. What the hell? <laughs> Why is he covering it up? Or does he genuinely not remember? Mm. 
This was your memory from when you dropped the pen at the crime scene. Why did you lie? What are you talking about? You said there wasn't anyone in the lab when you visited. But according to your memory, the professor was already dead by the time you arrived. <laughs> I noticed something else. You saw someone suspicious flee the scene, didn't you? Why didn't you mention that earlier? I guess there's no point in hiding it anymore. You're right. I did see someone flee the scene. I took after them, but I lost sight of them once they were outside. Why didn't you report it to the Bureau right away? I'm ashamed to admit it, but I lost my head, you know? <laughs> what? I completely forgot I could call it in with this. Before I knew it, the whole thing was already all over the news. They were saying Albert's corpse had vanished. I knew that if I said anything, people would think I'm the one who did it. I'll testify that you're not the culprit. You've heard of the Extraordinary Ability Exclusionary Rule, right, champ? Proof obtained by means unverifiable through scientific principles has no evidentiary value. You can look through my memories until the sun comes down. But if you got no concrete proof, you're out of luck. Well, to be fair, he left his tea back there, so... Like, I don't know. Oh. I mean, I'm not the one who did it, and I can prove that on my own. The access panel to the lab was broken. Was the panel broken when you arrived? Well, according to the memory, no. Nah, it looked fine to me. I checked the first witness's visual records, and the panel was still intact when they arrived. When was the panel destroyed? You saw the professor's body in the lab, didn't you? Do you have any idea where it could have gone? Look, I said it before, right? I took off after that shady character and left the scene. But then Martha visited him and she still saw the body. After that, I couldn't get back to the lab. I heard about the corpse vanishing on the news. Right, now it's my turn. <laughs> I want you to tell me what you know about that experiment. Nothing. Actually, nothing, so... I don't remember anything from back then. <laughs> hey, hey, we had a deal. I don't have any memories from before the experiment. One of the other subjects. She's been in a coma ever since. They were trying to emulate our abilities using Kairos. Apparently, if they'd been successful, then even ordinary humans would be able to see ion particles. But they messed up the doses on our meds, and the whole thing was a failure. That's all I know. I'm amazed you know so little. Hell, even I know more than you do. Well, apparently not, so... It concerns you. Didn't you want to find out? If you felt like it, you could have checked the past. My abilities were suppressed up until I joined the Bureau. Why are you so interested in that experiment? To begin with, I started investigating at the request of one of the other cities. Some people are willing to pay for this kind of information. Let's leave it at that, okay? It's all top secret stuff. I'll take my leave. And don't worry. I'll testify that you're not the culprit. Don't be fast with it. <laughs> when the case is closed, tell me, would you? Tell me about what happened when you visited before. It's a shame. But I can't trust someone who doesn't remember their past. You're like an invisible man now. Whatever. I won't hold out too much hope. I'm here. Most of the time. If you ever feel like drinking a good cup of tea, come pay me a visit. Okay, champ? Uh, that was kind of underwhelming. Like, there was so much new stuff. I mean... We'll see. What do we do now? I guess visit Elaine, right? Hey Ash. So, this is where you've been. This is actually the first time we've met him in person. 
I've been trying to get a hold of you since yesterday. I was worried, man. Ash, what are you doing here? Nothing much, nothing much. Someone I know is staying here. Hmm. You coming? No harm in cutting loose every now and then. No, I, uh... Yes. No! Jeez. Hal, you should pay Elaine a visit and give her an update. She's waiting for you at the bureau. Where could he be going in such a hurry? He definitely wasn't his usual self. Downstairs. Huh? I knew it. I wonder what they're talking about. Huh? They're completely soundproofed. I can't hear a thing. I guess it's good to actually follow your instinct. <laughs> Wait, that's it? Spying on me? Not cool. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take it. She's not here anymore. You need to pay attention to little details here. Excuse me. <laughs> to who? We can actually go upstairs now. Rabbit. <laughs> I guess this is gonna be like the room where we'll solve the case or whatever. Coin. What's this? What's worth it? A T to the surface. Uh. What's this? This is based on the previous memories, right? I don't remember that actually. What are those steps? Um, I don't know where. Well, she skipped one day of work. There you are. I can't quite believe I'm saying this to a fresh recruit, but because of you, I'm not under surveillance anymore. 
Thank you, Hal. Oh, yeah, essentially. I just did what anyone would do. After all, you've always looked out for me. The city's in grave danger. But I have no doubt you're capable of sorting this all out. Showing that your abilities can be used for the greater good might improve the situation for other variants, too. Anyway, tell me, who do you think the culprit is? <laughs> That's sudden. Someone fled the scene of the crime, and we don't know where they are. I read the memories in one of Keith Tozaki's belongings. And? Do you think he's the culprit, Director General? Given the circumstances, it seems highly likely. I'm sure you noticed. But entry into that lab is closely monitored. The door was locked between... Three. When the professor entered. And when Keith arrived at eight. And there's no evidence the access records were tampered with. But there was someone, so... If someone else is... Responsible for the professor's death. Then how did they gain access to the room? I don't know yet. But I saw Keith's memories. He's definitely not telling the truth. But he didn't kill the professor. Rumford was already dead by the time he arrived. Mm. I believe you, Hal. But a testimony based on what you saw with your ability doesn't have any legal weight. And that's the proofs come around to connect with the memories and stuff. You need objective proof to back it up. The city's collective mental state is pretty fraught right now. Eustace wants this whole thing resolved as soon as possible. Finding the truth isn't the imperative, Hal. The main concern is making sure the citizens can keep on slumbering in peace. All we need is to find someone who fits the bill and arrest them. That way we can start the trial right on time tomorrow. Fits the bill, meaning it can be anyone and then the story will progress anyways? I'll double check the crime scene. There has to be something we've overlooked. We saw it, the tea bag. I'm positive it's something only you could spot. She isn't completely out of the woods yet, but I'm sure she will be if we keep pursuing the investigation. 